Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to root your Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini as well as install Qualcomm Mode Recovery on it. Now this video is specially for the GTI 9195 variant, do not use this method on any other variants, there are separate methods for the other variants. Anyways, so first of all, what you need to make sure is, you need to make sure that your Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini is well charged. So preferably let's say more than 50% battery, at the moment mine is 67, so that should be quite enough. So make sure your Galaxy S4 Mini is well charged. So once it is charged, go to the link in the video description and from there you should be taken to the following blog post. And now from here scroll down and go to the prerequisites. Now as you can see here, you have Orin 3.07 root and serial when packages download link. So click on that, it will take you to the for shared website. From here download the zip file your desktop or whatever you want. Once the file has been downloaded, here it is, extract it using a program such as WinRAR or 7-zip or whatever. Once the program, the zip file has been extracted, you may now open up the folder and now as you can see here, we've got the kernel tar, the ORIN and the Cocoa Motor Recovery files and some application extensions, extensions files. And okay, so the next thing which you want to do now is you need to power off your phone. So hold the power button and power off your Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini. Now once the phone powers off completely, hold the home button, the power button and the volume down button. You will then go into download mode. So hold these three buttons. Now as you can see we are in download mode, so after you do this, connect your USB cable to your Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini, like this, now leave it like that, now from the folder, open up the Orin program, Now as you can see, Orin doesn't detect anything. Now what you would want to do here is, on your Galaxy S4 Mini, press the volume up button. Now as you can see, we, are, we have just made it to start to be able to download and Windows 7 should begin installing the drivers. There we go, it says ready to use, everything is ready. And now, as you can see, the, we have established a connection with the Galaxy S4 Mini and the computer. Odin manages to recognize it. Now the next thing which you would want to do is, you would need to enable, un, uncheck the option F reset time. So uncheck that option. Next, in the PDA field, tick this little box here and click on the PDA field and from there, choose the kernel tar. Open that file, and now as you can see, it has checked the MD5 and it says successfully, so everything is ready at the moment. What you need to do now is, you press the start button. In the meantime, keep your Galaxy S4 Mini in download mode. Now, press the start button, and it should begin transferring the files. As you can see, we've got a green box saying pass, as well as our Galaxy S4 Mini rebooting. So after this, the phone should reboot normal, the phone should start up normally, but with a slightly modified kernel. With this modified kernel, we are able to root the Galaxy S4 Mini. Okay, so we're gonna wait for the Galaxy S4 Mini to boot up now. Now as you can see, the phone managed to boot up without any problems. After this, you once again need to power off the phone, because this time we're gonna flash the cockpit motor recovery. Now, once the phone powers up, again hold the home button, the power and the volume down all together. Hold these three buttons and you should once again be in download mode. Now after this, again connect your Galaxy S4 Mini to your computer with the USB cable. Press the volume up button to have it a downloading. Now you may leave your Galaxy S4 Mini like this. 
so now once again you need to start up the Orin program as you can see again it recognizes the phone and everything else uncheck the F reset time and this time in the PDA field tick the little box choose PDA and choose recovery quokkot mod choose this file open it so after everything has been selected you may now once again press the start button press start you can see how it will begin uploading you can also see a loading bar on the Galaxy S4 Mini once again it should say pass with a green box it should say succeed one failed zero now once again the Galaxy S4 Mini will reboot and again you need to power off the phone and this time we're gonna press a different combination of buttons so now that we have flashed the custom kernel the Qualcomm motor recovery what awaits us now is the routing process so what you need to do after this is you power off your phone again and this time hold the home button the power and the volume up not volume down but volume up this will take us to recovery mode Now as you can see we do not have the stock recovery, this is actually Quokkot mode recovery. Now from here basically you don't need to do anything. Once you enter the recovery mode here, choose reboot system now by pressing the, the home button and now as you can see it tells us root access is missing, root device and choose yes root device select that with the home button the phone will vibrate and it will reboot and that that is all you have just successfully rooted your phone as well as install Qualcomm Motor Recovery on it so you can now install root applications as well as install custom ROMs such as CyanogenMod which was recently released so yeah enjoy so huge thanks to Arco68 for making all of this possible but once the phone reboots, you don't actually have the super user apps you would need to install from the Play Store. Simply go to Play Store and look for the app either Super SU or Super User. So I can just look up Super SU for example. Now as you can see here it is. Install it. And you may also install an app to check the route. the app root checker so let's install this one as well and it will tell us whether our Galaxy S4 Mini is rooted or not let's open up the root checker let's tap on verify root access and as you can see congratulations this device has root access so there you have it once again, huge thanks to Argo68 for this, for modifying the kernel and providing us with all the files needed. I just made this video guide to easing up the, uh, the steps in doing this. And yeah, thanks for watching and please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Goodbye.